The ruling Filimo party appears to have taken an early lead in partial results released so far in Mozambique. Vote counting is continuing, though, with no clear date as to when the winner of the October 15 poll will be announced. There are fears that whoever loses the election will most likely dispute it. The European Union Observer Mission has already highlighted what it says was an uneven playing field during the poll. Fatima Mimbire is a journalist based in the capital, Maputo. Join us live now from there for an update. Fatima, very good afternoon to you and thank you for your time. So I was talking to the potential for a dispute over this election and its outcome, and that's already happened because the opposition, Renamo, is saying that there was indeed election fraud. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, thank you very much for having me. Um, there are some concerns related to this uh, uh, result. Uh, and of course, Renamo will not accept that uh, because the idea that Renamo has once they join this process was that they would win at least five provinces where generally were uh, pro-opposition uh, region. Unfortunately, according to the preliminary uh, results, Renamo is taking advantage on this. What is really interesting to understand what are the rationale behind this kind of result? And the argument of fraud is increasing day by day because the number of votes registered at the, the pool are different from the numbers of votes are counted. So that tells us that something is wrong in this counting process. Well, uh, we don't have the best line to you, Fatima, but I want to persist for a moment longer because it's not just the opposition that's complaining about potential fraud in these elections. We've got the U.S. Embassy in Mozambique saying that it too had observers witness some irregularities both in voting and indeed ballot counting. How great is the worry then in Mozambique today about the credibility of whatever outcome is announced at the end of this? Well, the credibility is in check because of that irregularity that we, we, we saw. The main irregularity that tells us rationally that it's not possible is the number of votes at the, the, the polls and the number of votes counting. And I, I have to remember here that the main problem related to our uh, electoral process is uh, the counting process because it's where some data are being changed. So this is really uh, concerning regarding the fact that the observers, national observers, were not allowed to be in the uh, in the pools at the moment that uh, uh, the MMDs were counting the, the, the vote. Also, the delegates of the parties were not accepted to be there because of some problems related to the accreditation. Some of them were gave by the um, electoral body um, uh, at the wrong accreditation. So they allowed them to work during all the voting day, but at the crucial moment where the counting started, they were kicked off. So this is putting the credibility of this process in check for, for, for sure. Um, and the, 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 the many cases where the ballots were found has pre, uh, pre uh, filled by members of, of MMD, most of them related to the prelimo party is, is, is really uh, putting in check this result. But I have also to mention that it's premature to say that Prelimo is really winning because just less than 20% of the, 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 the ballots were, 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 were counted. So we are talking about numbers of 20, less than 20%. This is not enough to tell us uh, if Prelimo is really winning or not. Um, there is a rationale for such kind of results to be disclosed is that it's important to bring the idea that Selimu is really winning. But if you see, for example, in Nampula, where just processed 5% of the total vote. So this is not enough to say that Selimu is really winning. The, now we have to discuss is how the process was, why we had all these irregularities, how the, uh, the justice will deal with all these irregularities that were um, arose uh, during this process. So we, we more than discuss the results itself the premature, just five percent in other provinces, ten in other, is not enough to tell us uh, who is really winning. Okay. But uh, it is being spread the idea that Selim is winning in all the countries. That's the reason why the opposition uh, run, run to say that we are not 
accepting because there have been irregularities. But probably the results in Nampula, in, in Zambezia, and in Sofala can change uh, the tendency. Uh, according to my, 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 my take, are regarding to the number of votes that have been processed already. All right. Fatima Mbira, a journalist based in Mozambique's capital, Maputo. It's been great to speak to you longer. Pity about the clarity of that line, but thank you so much for that update. Fatima speaking to us, as I was saying, from the capital, Maputo, as vote counting progresses in Mozambique after the election earlier this week. So.